What is going on everybody? It is Luke Beller with the Sideline Scoop. And in today's video, we have a few different news items to cover that came out this afternoon. We have a positive COVID test, unfortunately. Also, I'm going to break down Wednesday's injury report that just came out and also sort of what Aaron Donald had to say about his status for Saturday's game. And if you guys are new here, I put up Packers news, information, all that kind of stuff pretty much every single day. So make sure you guys subscribe and like the video as well. So starting off with this positive COVID test. So it came out from Field Yates within the past hour or so. The Packers have placed recently signed offensive tackle Jared Valdir on the COVID-19 list as a result of a positive test. So that's super unfortunate to see. Hopefully he heals up soon and feels better. Um, but, you know, we just brought this guy in from the Indianapolis Colts, as most of you guys already know. And um, we weren't sure if he was going to start or not this week. He was probably just going to be a backup for this game. You know, some good uh, veteran depth for this Packers offensive line who's going to be facing Aaron Donald in a great Rams defense this weekend. And so with David Bossiari, you know, being out, being injured, it was good for the Packers to bring in some more depth at the offensive line, especially at the tackle position. So now to see that he unfortunately has gotten a positive COVID test, obviously now um, he's not going to be able to play in Saturday's game. And so who knows what the Packers are going to do there. Maybe they'll just sort of keep the guys that they have because um, at this point, I don't know who else they could bring in. There's probably some other guys, but who knows if anything like that will happen. So a lot of people were wondering if he has been in contact with anyone because it seemed like he was practicing yesterday. And Rob Demoska came out with a tweet here. He said, was told the Packers have been cleared through contact tracing of having to put anyone else on the list for now. Obviously, test results between now and Saturday's game will also be a factor. So it seems that they've already gone through the contract tracing and maybe no one had been in contact with him. So that seems sort of what's happening right now. But obviously, someone could have tested positive because they were in close contact with him. So within the next three days, we'll have to see sort of what comes out on that front. So definitely, you know, not great news for today. But hopefully, he heals up and feels better soon. And maybe potentially, he'll be ready for, you know, the next game if, you know, the Packers do end up beating the Rams coming up on Saturday. And so now for uh, Wednesday's injury report. So as you can see here, we have the Packers injury report. For practice today, Kinsley Kiki, once again, did not participate. He's been dealing with that concussion, um, also missing Week 17's game. Kevin King, limited once again. Alan Lazard, limited. Mercedes Lewis looked like he did not practice today, um, but I feel like he should be fine for Saturday's game. Um, I saw some people said that he takes a day off each week. I'm not sure if that's true, but um, I think he should be okay, hopefully. Then we got Zadarius Smith, also limited today. And then Equinemius St. Brown, limited and then obviously Jared Valdir did not participate because we already talked about that and then Rick Wagner was a limited participant today so those are the um, injuries for the Packers nothing really new on that front besides Valdir and obviously Mercedes Lewis not practicing but Kinsley Kiki same as yesterday did not participate once again so hopefully he'll be ready for Saturday's game I'm not sure what's going to happen there obviously not a good sign if he is not practicing and so now for the Rams obviously the, the biggest thing everyone has been wanting to know about is Aaron Donald we've talked about that a lot in the past couple of days, you know, with him suffering that torn rib cartilage. And it seems to be a pretty serious injury from a, from a pain standpoint. Lots of people have been saying that it's very, very painful. But today, this is what Aaron Donald had to say about the situation. He said, the way I'm feeling right now, I'm not too worried about it. He said, I feel good, I feel strong, and I'll be ready to come Saturday. So that's what he had to say. It seems that he thinks he'll be ready to go on Saturday. Who knows if he's just saying this or if it's, you know, completely true, if he actually will be playing. Again, we'll have to wait and see sort of what happens on Saturday. And even if he does play, who knows if he'll play as much as he usually does because of this injury. And then for the rest of the Rams players, David Edwards did not participate today, offensive lineman. Jared Goff fully participated once again. So it seems to me like Goff is going to end up being the guy who starts. Um, McVay said earlier, you know, he is not going to come out with a starter yet. But who knows? It seems to me like Goff is going to be the starter. I'm um, considering he is, you know, a full practice participant because as you can see at the bottom here, John Wal Wolford uh, did not participate today. And then we have Cooper Cup did not participate once again. Uh, Terrell Lewis did not participate. Uh, Nasimba Webster, I don't know if I said his name right, full participant today. And then Andrew Whitworth was a limited participant. So those are all the injuries for both sides on Wednesday's injury report. So that's going to be all the news for today. So if you guys enjoyed today's video, make sure you like the video down below and subscribe if you've yet to subscribe to the channel. So that's going to be all for today, and I'll see you guys on the next one.